Hey everyone, it is Saturday, I don't know, 7th or something like that. Um, I'm going to run the forwarder today. I was going to run late 22, the buncher, um, but we it's wicked long yarding here. It's almost to the point where it's, it's a little hard to, to make money just because it's so far and just it's just real long forwarding so um, I rotated some of the teeth on that yesterday too but so with the yarding being a little longer than um, what's I'd say efficient or real profitable um, I'm gonna run the forwarder some today plus mainly too because it's uh Looks like we're going to get, a, not the whole week, but there's going to be a warm day or two next week that we get a little rain. And I think we've had enough cold where um, it's not going to affect too much. But I figure if I, I've got plenty of wood down and process, so if I'm just running the bunch or more, it's because I don't want to run that. Um, and it's not that I don't want to run it. I just don't run it very often. Uh, I get used to not running it and um you know back a while ago when we were having uh when I had wood bunched for us I would run it because all I all I did was run the processor and I'd get so far ahead that I'd know that I could run that and I wasn't gonna just you know catch them up and then have nothing to do for them so or for Wes so and I don't I actually once I get in it I don't mind running it it's different I don't run it a lot and so we're going to run the birdhouse today and I'll show you why I'm calling it the birdhouse so in a little bit. So let's go hop in the birdhouse. Wes left it loaded on, well yesterday, Friday. So put my gloves down and Hop up here. We're gonna put the fuel cap back on. So, you guys ready to see the birdhouse? Oh, look at the birdhouse. There must be a bird living in here. So, I mean, Wes could sweep that up but we'll, so anyways the story behind the bird seed is is that Wes um, used to smoke cigarettes and he quit smoking cigarettes and now he chews sunflower seeds so I guess um, It'd be nice if you swept them out, but it's better than smoking cigarettes. So anyways, that's why I was calling it the birdhouse. Uh, I'm going to try and get some more video. Um, it may be a little harder in the forwarder, just depending on what I got. I might be able to grab that little thing I used to put my phone in and out of the buncher and get a little video. So, but I'll be back. So we're on our way in for the first buggy. I was trying to remember the last time I ran the forwarder, and, or actually got a buggy of wood, and I don't really remember. It probably was. God, it's been a quite a long time. I don't remember. It's probably been a year. So. I don't know why I don't, I, I try to avoid running it. I think it's just because I don't run it. And I've got plenty of wood on the ground. So it's a little different with the buncher. Uh, you know, if things are going smooth with the buncher and processing, the forwarder will never catch you, which is the way I want it. But I also have to get out of my rut or my routine and run the forwarder some, uh, just to kind of help things out especially since I know that I can stay ahead. So, and 
and once I get in the full water, I like running it. Um, also, I, I kind of, I haven't run this thing. We, we replaced, um, well, not that, but this summer, uh, the hydraulics were acting up on it, and it ended up being, um, what I think is, uh, there's a screen in the valve bank that screens the hydraulic fluid for the pilot pressure. And the pilot pressure is what makes um, the hydraulics work. And if that screen is plugged up, it won't have enough pilot pressure to run all the functions together. So like your, if, your, if you don't have enough pilot pressure, you won't be able to multifunction anything. So, I didn't know that I just started pulling things out. I don't, still don't really know quite where the screen was, but apparently I cleaned it out and the thing runs better. So it's smoother and works better. So um, once the hydraulics warm up a little bit, I'll have a little better idea. So anyways, I'll be back. Well, loaded up with the first buggy of hardwood. There's the squeaky seat. Now, we'll head out to the yard. I don't know what time it is. It took me, by the time I headed in here, it's been about a half hour or so. It's quite a little, well, it might actually be a little more. I haven't seen the time, so. We're on our way out. Well, it's a little chilly this morning. It is Sunday now. Um, I decided to come down and work again today. I'm gonna finish this video today. I uh, grabbed my little thing out, just dongle or whatever you call it, just so I can um, well, move the window down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try and fasten it somewhere in the forwarder so you guys could get a little video of me loading so but it's pretty chilly it's around I don't know if it quite hit negative but it was around zero degrees Fahrenheit this morning so it wouldn't start without the preheater so I had to let the preheater run for a little bit and um, before she'd crank up so anyways I'll be back okay we'll try doing um, unfortunately you can't see me uh, off to the side picking up the wood, but um, I'll try and do a little bit here. Uh, the hydraulics are still really cold, so it's kind of sluggish and slow. I'm loading um, fur pulp right now, and um, everything's a little delayed when the hydraulics are this slow, so a little uh and i'm not you know i don't i don't i think as i said yesterday um you know i don't run forward or that much so um today and yesterday is probably the first time i've run forward in a year so um it usually takes by the time i come back in for the second buggy here uh after i get this unloaded Hydraulics will probably be good and warm, so it'll be smoother. Um, fur pulp is really, this stuff's actually kind of nice. Hardwood, even tree length, um, you know, you can't just throw it on the buggy because it's, it's gonna, if you don't make the bottom neat, um, you won't. By the time you get it about half loaded, it'll be so messed up that you'll, you won't be able to get really much on. And it's also, I think, a good, um, I don't know how wiggly that is. Um, the other thing that's really good for me to hop into the forwarder um, periodically is um, when you just run processor all the time, you lose a little bit of uh, touch um, with what the, you know, there, there's just not a whole lot, but 
it might be just this little it might be come on just as simple as like I noticed processing when you process wood by a tree and the tree is on the trail the forwarding the forwarder side um, if you don't leave enough sticking out so you can grab it in the middle it's a real pain in the butt um, so there's stuff like that that I might not think about um, when I'm processing as much but if I run the processor I mean the forwarder here and there you know it, it, it's something that I'm thinking about so um, or I'm going geez you know it'd make it a lot easier for Wes if I didn't do that or I did that different um, so that's definitely something that is good um, also you know I did you know I did a fair amount yesterday I mean uh, Mark's three loads of hardwood on Friday and I pretty much filled that all back in and um, today I'm just kind of more or less um, I wasn't going to come down but I just felt like with the weather this week and I'm just getting out of my I wouldn't say it's a comfort zone it's more of a routine more of a routine that I that I don't run the forwarder, um, and mainly, you know, I don't run the forwarder because in the past, you know, um, when you when I cut off the stump, there's just you usually you can't produce enough cutting off the stump where it ever makes sense for me to actually run the forwarder. So I think I mentioned that yesterday. And now that the buncher's kind of in the mix, um, there's definitely enough wood where, you know, you can um, shut this off or something. I don't know what that view looks like right now, but... Um, With the buncher, there's just enough wood in it, and, it and, and I get in a routine of just wanting to process and stay ahead, um, which it's kind of realizing uh, that, you know, I'm going to stay ahead, and Wes isn't going to run out of wood, so it's really a lot more beneficial for me to uh, run the, the, the forward or something. If Wes isn't going to catch me, especially with some of the weather coming, if I'm running the forwarder on um, the weekend, it's all extra. You know, it's all just um, stuff that wouldn't have got done, and you might not necessarily see it um, because the wood would eventually get picked up. But um, especially since it's winter too, and or it's getting to be winter I'm over there a little bit. It's kind of like overtime. So, um, I think in the course of a winter, um, you know, if there's always wood on the ground, you know, I'm putting my extra time in this, that ends up to thousands of dollars. Um, so, and it's probably, if you look at things in a, I don't know, depends on what type of person you are, but in a leadership sense, if Wes sees that I'm working every week and running this, um, maybe that motivates him a little more to a little harder on this. I don't know. Um, that, you know, I can't, I can't say, but um, after this job, we're going to be working a little uh, closer to home, so Wes always
always does put a little it's easier for him. but it's kind of like when Mark shows up here tomorrow and there's more wood than when he left here on Friday um, it's, you know it's a good feeling it's a good feeling to know that uh, you're pushing and you're working and you're getting stuff done and you're maybe producing a little more than the next guy and I think generally in life it's not a mystery the people who put more time in consistently and they're smart about it are the ones that get ahead. You, you gotta have a little bit of a life too, but I think in the woods business, I mean, you should at least be aware that winter is the time that you make money and it's probably not a bad time to, you know, put that extra in. So, um, so, and also, I would really like to get this job done. Um, I mentioned yesterday that, you know, the, lock, the, the yarding is long and, and you could focus on that or, you know, you could put the extra time in and just get the job done. And that's the thing, you know, you can whine about it or you can put the extra time in and make it pay. Um, and I think the latter of the two is the way to go. Um, so that's what I'm doing. You know, if I do five or six buggies today, and I did five or six buggies yesterday, and, and you average those out onto whatever Wes did last week, all of a sudden we're we're hitting our average production. If you spread those buggies out over what Wes did every day, then all of a sudden it's like, oh, this isn't bad. Um, so some sacrifice there and we get to uh, uh, the next job and it's actually it's real good yarding it's flat it's not too far the wood's good um, making a little less because it's for a, a timber company but hey uh, I think it's a good chance closer to home but, you know you really should look at everything as a glass uh, is half full. Uh, and I'm tra trying to train myself to be more like that. Because the more I'm like that, the less I worry about, oh, this is long yarding. There's nothing I can do about it. We, we said we'd do the job. We're, go we're gonna finish it. Uh, so, uh, bitching about anything is just making it more miserable. So, that's kind of kind of, uh, you know, just doesn't help. Uh, so, positive attitude, always a good idea. So, alright, well, I've been really kind of yakking here. I don't know how long this video is now, but um, I'm almost loaded. I'll come back here in a minute. And I'm back. That's what I'm talking about. Stuff that I forget when I'm processing wood. I can still grab that, but that, if I had moved that, the pile of wood, or processed it, processed it, so that the pile, like right about there was out here, he could, we, I could grab it right on this side of the tree and be perfectly balanced. The way I'm grabbing it now, it's a little um, forward too much. So those are the things that when I'm forwarding, I'm going, oh, well, I do that different. Well, I'm loaded. Listen to that squeaky chair. Um, so, we're going to head out now. See how heavy this is. You can kind of tell how heavy it is when you go up over something. And I really like picking up for pulp. It's nice. Uh, you know, we have it around here, but it's not like up north. So, um, we're not going to cut hundreds of acres of this, but it's so nice to pick up. It's easy to handle, fits in the buggy nice, it's easy, nice to truck. So, um, I really don't know how long this video is gonna end up being. Um, and some of it's kind of mismatched uh, from yesterday. 
Um, if you guys have any questions or suggestions on videos, what you want, uh, you know, I hadn't shown anything with the forwarder, just mainly because I don't run it, so if I'm going to run it a little more, I'll do a little more videos. Also, you know, I wanted to thank all the new subscribers. Um, uh, I haven't really said much about it. You know, the, the channel's growing. It's not like it's, uh, I think we're, you know, we're on our way to a thousand subscribers. Uh, we're closer to 600 right now, which isn't much, but I have sperms where I pick up a bunch, so I appreciate everybody uh, watching the videos and subscribing. Please subscribe and like if you enjoy them. And um, like I said, if you have any suggestions on the content, uh, I'll be glad to do what I can to make different types of videos. So, like, subscribe.